Hello, everyone. Um, I just have a quick demo uh, for some tests that I wrote for Kebashet using the Python behave library. So here I set up some scenarios for the different managers. Um, so for, for the advice manager, uh, I wrote a test for um, an issue being opened on the repository requesting an advice issue and then making sure that after adv the advice manager is run, then uh, there, there's a comment on the issue um, indicating that a advice has been scheduled for it. Um, I also wrote one for two for version manager. Um, this one checks for uh, when you open an issue with requesting a new version and then the version manager is run, um, then it updates the version string. Um, this one is similar, um, but this is testing the uh, pull request integration where when you add a label to a pull request, um, like minor release or something, then when that pull request is merged, um, then a pull request is opened with an updated version string. Um, and then finally, the update manager is just checking uh, and making sure that an out-of-date dependency is updated to um, 2.0 here. That's just because uh, that's what's asked for in the uh, pip file in the repository. So all of this is uses a uh, template repo on GitHub, uh, and then it creates a temporary repository runs the scenario and then deletes the repository so we can run the test really quick behave So we're just seeing go through each of the steps, uh, updating the dependencies, opening an issue and making sure that the version strings are updated, and then opening pull requests. So I, I can't really show you exactly what's happening on the repositories because they're deleted immediately after, um, but uh, that's basically it. And you have an annotation or tag or whatever it is. You you basically say you add with repo, repo or repository in the source code. If you're going to switch back to the uh, oh, we see it on the first line of the terminal right now. You basically yeah, so say with add repo. With repo. And then if you go to um, here, then I have these before scenarios. Um, so if it's if with repos in the scenario tags, then it uh, sets up the repository, and then after it, it tears it down, removing the source mm. code and stuff. And it's using your personal access token to talk to GitHub, or how is it working out? It's yeah, it's using my personal access token. So if you want to run this yourself, you have to export it. Um, you have to export it to two places. You have to export it so that Kevishet has access to it. Uh, and then you also have to export it um, to uh, this environment variable name um, yes. so that the behave tests have access to it. Mm -hmm. And uh, then you said um, it is using a template uh, repository. That's where's that? What, what is that? It's just having uh, like a pip file. Yeah, give me a sec. I can I can open it. integration template. So here it has like a version.py file, um, 
pip file with uh, click 2.0.0 defined, and then a pip file.lock where click is locked down to 1.0. Um, then we have this. This doesn't really matter because we're running the bots directly. We're not running them through the um, the uh, configuration, but if you do want to test the configuration, then you can use this file. Um, oh. so. Yeah. Does anyone cool. else have any questions? So, yeah, um, I, I think uh, just another comment. Uh, Gage was asking for organizational level access token. Oh, I think it's it's basically the same. Um, I would just recommend not using the Sacheta token that we have been uh, by now because it's uh, counting against the API rate limit. So um, yes. that that might fail, which means that the rate limit failed rather than the test itself fail. So maybe it's really a good advice to use a personal access token, like an individual yeah. user's one. And you nice. can you can add a tag to it to like uh, the tests when you go to run them, if you know that your changes only affect like certain tests, you can add a tag temporarily and just test uh, ones that would change. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I think that's a good strategy because um, you're basically testing end-to-end. -end. You're testing the real work that uh, Kevishet is doing. I think early on we talked about moking some of the GitHub API or repositories or stuff like that, um, but I think this is a good test strategy. It, it's really yeah. testing that everything works. Well, we are all, oh, that's too loud, Hashard. Um, we are also testing um, if the communication with GitHub API itself works, but I think that is okay-ish. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure we're gonna get uh, decent error messages if rate limit is off, if uh, API is not available or something like that. So that, that's okay. Oh, cool. Uh, thanks, uh, Kevin. Any other questions? I have a question. So, the, the goal would be to move that template uh, repo to pods.org, uh, or leave it because if it moves into pods.org, then Kevin can actually <laughs> start to manage it outside of the tests, right? So, we, and we don't want that. Yeah, you basically need to turn all the um, all the managers to disabled, right? But yeah, then the test so I don't, will not work. Yeah. Um, I guess we can. I'll leave it in because right now it, it specifically grabs from mine. So I guess I can just leave it like that for now until we find a better place for it. Um, okay. So we also have the uh, Sesheta user itself, not not a bot account or something, but a real user. We could move it to there, but I'm I'm happy with it as it is. Um, or maybe uh, move it to Todd and remove permissions from Sesheta to actually approve PRs on that repo or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, that is something that we could do. Other questions, comments? Gage, is your question um, sufficiently answered? Yes. Yes, good. Thanks, Kevin.